Oswalt has never gotten Barry Bonds out. Bonds four for four, four walks, eight play appearances against Oswalt. But in the top of the second, history is made, personal history. Pops him up, way up. Oswalt, there it is, gets him out. Bonds 0 for three, did walk twice, but Oswalt will have a parade Friday morning, 9 a.m. Top eight, Trevor Miller in relief. Randy Wynn is over at first base. Number 14, Fred Lewis, grounds to Mike Lamb. Throws it into right field, bad, win, heads to third. Luke Scott comes up throwing, gets away, bad. Wynn's gonna score from first. Airs charge to Lamb and Scott, we are tied at one and going to extra innings. We played 10, we played 11, we go to the 12, still tied at one. Brad Lidge pitching, runner on third, two outs. Randy Wynn hits it, good aim. Off the bag, Biggio tries to make the play, not in time. Pedro Feliz scores the go-ahead run. Giants win 2-1. Bobby Holtzman tracking Bonds in Texas. Thanks, Bob. Beer makers getting it handed to them in the first three games against the Phillies. We got Ben Sheets going in this one. Bottom second. That doesn't matter to Pat Burrell. Solo home run. It's fifth of the year, fourth in the homestand. The bank is open. Phillies up one zip. Who knows how far it went. Top five game tied at one. Gabe Gross. Homer once in the game. How about a second one off Freddie Garcia? Third of the year. Not much pop there, but two in this one. Brewers up 2-1, and then Sheets working on his crap in the fifth. Wes Helms missed. In the sixth, Shane Victorino watch. Burl in the seventh. Two batters later, Helms goes down again. Sheets, seven and two-thirds, two earned runs. Five hit, eight Ks. Francisco Cordero on to close in the ninth. Burl hits one deep. Left. Do we have an oh happy? Oh boy. Off the wall. Burl in with a double. Or should he take two more and go home? Third base up explaining to Charlie Manuel. That ball hit the top of the fence. Look at Ryan Howard. He's like, that's why I don't hit wall scrapers, so we don't have this trouble. But the ball indeed off the top of the wall. Yep. Not saying it with flowers. Correct call by Tony Rendazzo. And in the ninth, for two outs, Abraham Nunez. Cordero picks up a 16th save. Brewers win 3-2. They're 2-5 and five on the road trip. And Sheets wins both games. Using his first decision. That includes a win over Minnesota's Johan Santana, whom he saw again on Thursday. In the first, Michael Kadire goes down swinging. In the second, Torrey Hunter missed as well. Johnny Peralta given the day off. Why you say, well, because, oh, Johnny's two for 22 with 17 Ks in his career against Santana. So, Mike Grouse, you're on. And in the third, uh, yeah, no change. In the fifth, maybe it's a position thing or where you're hitting in the order. Rouse struck out three times on the day. Top seven, you got two out for Mike Redman. Shot up the middle, Josh Barfield coming, coming, backhand, and then the throw. Hot me, got him. Carmona, always appreciative of good defense. Now we go to the bottom of the seven. Santana's still working on a gem, right? Victor Martinez, though, deep and out. His fifth, one nothing in favor of the Indians. And the very next batter, Ryan Garko. Deep to left. How about back-to-back -back home runs for the Tribe for the first time all season? Garko's fifth, two nothing Indians. Carmona then into the ninth. He's got 26 outs, hasn't allowed anything, right? Torrey Hunter, you're out number 27. You gotta get him? Yeah, Casey Blake makes sure of it. Indians sweep the Twins. Carmona's first career shutout, first career complete game. Two zip is the final. Braves having trouble with the Nats. That's Nats with an N, not with a G. Top four, no score. Man on, Chipper Jones. Let's see, man on, ball out of park. Uh, that's, that's for two points. Two run homer. Jones is a left. Braves go up 2 nothing. But the Nats right there in the six. We're tied at three. Runner on, Felipe Lopez. That's down, and he's running hard. Big gapper there. Christian Guzman scores easily. Lopez over to third with a triple Nationals up 4-3. Oh, Nats bullpen lights out in the series. 15 in pitch, seven hits, one run, 14 Ks, and it's time to play. Let's name that Nationals reliever. Jesus Colome gets Jones, and then in the ninth, Andrew Jones against closer John Roush. Down he goes. The Nationals are going to win 4-3, win the series 3-1, and they are 5-4 and four against the Braves this season. Lock them up. Play them again the next day. Minerals. It's number 10. Fred. Eastern Conference semifinals. Antonio McDice misses, but look at Payshawn Prince respond with the rebound, and then give me a little lefty flush. Pistons win 95-85. Moving on. Coming in at number 9, Royals and the A's. Email Brown. Fly to right. Travis Buck. Makes the sliding grab. Really a lot of that foul territory in Oakland. He didn't need much there. Royals won the game. Number eight, Brewers, Phillies, Johnny Estrada. Sharp liner, Jimmy Rollins. Diving catch. 
could have thrown out Estrada three times had that actually hit the ground. He's not that fast. Brewers win 3 2. Hooray for beer! Number seven, Ducks and Red Wings, Robert Lang, the Todd Bertuzzi. You see the Detroit passing on the power play, but the Ducks won the game, series even at two. Number six, Yankees, White Sox, Jermaine Dye, grounder. Look at Robbie Cano go the other side of the bag. See? Punched out. White Sox still win 4 1 as the Yanks still. Well, reeling, fall nine and a half back in the AL East. Number five, Italian soccer finals. Lansing header, goal! Magical delivery. They had the shirts in the box, but more importantly, they had the hitman waiting, and that beautiful forehead of the Argentines does the damage. Despite losing 2 1, Romo wins the championship. Tony, number four, Tigers, Red Sox, Jason Veritek, liner to the gap. Guess who's there? Curtis? Granderson. Grr, that Anderson. gets by and he's just Anderson. He's just an Anderson. Better than that, though. And Tony Romo. <laughs> At number three, the Rangers and Devil Rays. You know, you can't spell Disney without D-Y. Delvin Young, second home run of the game. That's a walk-off shot. The Devil Rays win at Disney 8-6. They like it there next day. Number two, Cubs-Mets. Mets enter the night down five. Here it's five, four bases loaded. Carlos Delgado singles to right. The Mets come all the way back. Winner, winner. Naturally, this is not going to make Lou Pinella happy as his bullpen melts down again. Mets win 6-5. Bring on the Yankees. At number one, are you going for the ribs or the Cowboys quarterback? <laughs> Romo or Roma? Back to number one at Fenway. Mike Robello is robbed, flat out robbed by Eric Hinsky. Sox sweep a double dip for the Tigers. Barry, Barry Zito, 102 wins in seven seasons with the A's, now an opponent. Not a very good opponent. I guess it depends how you look at it. Nick Swisher, there's a single, so a runner on. The next batter is Eric Chavez, and Zito's going to walk him. Same deal, next batter, Dan Johnson, to load him up. And Jack Cust walks two. 15 RBIs in the last nine games for Cust. Bobby Crosby, slow roller. Zito, what are you going to do? Nothing. Two nothing A's. This is all in the first inning, folks. Here's Zito. Walks Mark Ellis to force in another run. Giant pitchers walk 14. Zito, three earned runs, four walks in the first. As for the other Barry, Barry Bonds, the DH, just missed Chad Godin's head, base hit. Bonds, no homers in his last eight games. Dan Johnson off Zito. Ballpark won't hold it. Zito, four innings, seven earned, seven walks. Here's Steve Klein on the mound, bottom of the eighth, just misses on the one-two pitch to Mark Ellis. Klein thought it should have been strike three, and you know what happens. Lose a little focus, lose the baseball. Ellis, second career grand slam, and Klein immediately begins to go after home plate umpire Bill Miller. Miller's not on my team, by the way. Still arguing, held back by the pitching coach Dave Brugetti, and there's Bonds, Barry Bonds, the good teammate he is, taking care of Klein. I ain't just push him off the field. I mean, right down the runway. A's win big. For more on Barry's night, what he can look forward to Saturday, here's Pedro Gomez. Clearly, as the better team. Top of the fourth, Yankees down one nothing. However, Hideki Matsui against Oliver Perez, that's a two-run homer. And the Yankees have a 2-1 lead. Bottom five, though. With Laduca on second, Andy Pettit, lefty on lefty crime. Andy Chavez, that is gone. Unexpected, surprising home runs, first of the year, and the Mets have a 3-2 lead. Alex Rodriguez, 14 homers in April, one in May. He was 0 for 4. To the eighth, Andy Pettit, hey, he played in the NL. He knows how it works. Your team down by one, you got to be pinch hit for. You pitch well, seven innings, three earned. Bobby Abreu, the pinch hitter, he's been miserable. How about a 219 on base percentage this month? Then Johnny Damon. 121 at bats this year for Damon. Seven extra base hits. What a great outing for Perez. Seven and two thirds. Two earned run. ERA 2.90 this year. And then Billy Wagner to close. Lefty on lefty. Giambi, not a chance. Mets win. The Yankees are 10 games back at the Red Sox. First time since September of 95. The Yankees have been 10 games out of first. Home runs uh, with, uh, with his seventh home run. That would be a record or something, seven home runs. Brennan Inge, uh, I want to take out our World Series frustration. I don't want the Cardinals to win any game I play in. All right, here we go. Say hello to Andrew Miller, the Tigers' topic in the 
2006 draft, sixth overall, pitching well. Baseball America National Player of the Year, Roger Clemens Award winner as the nation's top collegiate pitcher while pitching for North Carolina last spring. Get some help from Maglio Ordonez, who is his ninth homer of the year in this game. Miller pitched well. He's in line for the victory. And he would get plenty of offensive help in getting his first big league victory. Sean Casey, four for five after a slow start up to 244. Tigers up 7 0. Curtis Granderson, his only hit, will produce two runs. 18 hits for the Tigers in support of young Andrew Miller. Polanco had three doubles in this game. We're up to 11 0. Sheffield hit his seventh homer of the season in this game. You see the single, 12 0 Tigers. And then Pudge. Nine runs in the fifth for Detroit. They score 14 runs. That's more than the 11 they scored in the entire World Series last fall against the Cardinals. Ohio, the heart of it all. Reds, Indians. Brandon Phillips of the Reds puts his 19 game hitting streak on the line. However, we begin with Brandon Phillips playing defense. There he is at second, and oh boy. The Reds cannot perform the rundown correctly, and so the Indians are still alive, and Ryan Garko makes them pay. How, how good is the Indians offense? Ryan Garko hitting 321, seven homers, batting eight. Indians tie the game at four. Two batters later, Grady size more to center. Here comes Josh Barfield. Indians take a 5-4 lead behind Cliff Lee, and then more Grady. Four for five in this game, scored three times, drove in three. That's on its way to Steubenville. And the Indians, winner, winner, chicken dinner. They're playing real well at home. They won eight in a row. Last season over the Cubs, Ozzy against Lou. That's some entertaining managers right there. And Jermaine Dye, call him Mr. Cellophane. Look right through him, walk right by him, never know he's even there. Final year of his contract, off to a slow start, 221 in April, 213 in May. That's his eighth home run this year. White Sox need him to get going. To the seventh now, it's 2-1 White Sox. Darren Erstad over Soriano's head and left. Here comes Toby Hall. And the White Sox need 3-1. Now it's up to the White Sox bullpen and Mike McDougal, but here's Angel Pagan with a hit down the right field line. Blanco, Terrio score. It's a triple for Pagan. We're tied at three, and then... Die. McDougal. His pitch gets by Toby Hall. Pagan scores. Cubs take the lead. It's then up to Ryan Dempster. Ryan against Ryan. Dempster against Sweeney. And the Cubs win 6-3 to three at Wrigley. Joe Carter homing off Mitch Williams in the 1993 World Series. And as a result, some childhoods and some adulthoods as well. <laughs> Ruined 25-year-old Dustin McGowan. Oh, boy. Thought he had that call. Doesn't get it. The pitcher, John Lieber, walks and Pat Burrell scores. Phillies lead 1-0. Later in the fifth, Shane Victorino to right a five-run fifth. You see McGowan not happy. To the ninth now, getting nervous. A man on, Frank Thomas walks. That, that's happened a lot. He's 12th all-time. Then Matt Stairs walks. Next batter, Alex Rios. Bases loaded. The 0-2 pitch. The high fastball tap the third. Close play, but Nunez to Helms. Makes the play. Ryan Howard and the Phillies enjoy a victory over Toronto. Some revenge, perhaps. Or Steve Levy say Pandy Raid anymore on this board. Oh, you just said it. How convenient. Number 10, Carlos Gomez Bunts. And look at Andy Pettit. Pitched well, fielded well in this game. However, the Yankees lost 3 2. They're 10 games behind the Boston Red Sox in the AL East. And as you repeated that as well, number 9, the Hamburg Masters quarterfinals. Rafael Nadal, his 80th consecutive victory on Clay. They'll meet Leighton Hewitt in the semifinal. Driver 8, take a break. Oh, and two. Bouncing ball tapped to third. Nunez has to hurry. And out and stretching and holding the ball as Helms. And the Phillies hang on to win five to three. At number seven, the Cavaliers Nets. Jason Kidd, tremendous pass, bounce pass, very underrated to Mikey Moore. All fine and good and well and things like that. However, the next season is history. Caps finished them off. Let's go to Pittsburgh. Diamondbacks and the Pirates wearing their uh, hunting vests in this game. Xavier Nady, perfect throw to get Carlos Quentin at home. Buckos are winners 11-5. Dave Parker kind of throw. Yes. Orioles the Nats at number five. Nuke Logan, the butt. John Parrish. 
about that from play? Dives forward and tosses the ball for the out. The Chief, number four, Bobby Orr, another Canadian, Steve Nash. Holy shnikes, finds Amari Stoudemire. The Suns lose 114 to 106. Will miss Nash's amazingly entertaining basketball the rest of the way. Number three, Reds and Indians. On ball up the middle. What a stop by Barfield. Gets one there. The relay in time. A wow. spectacular double play turned by the Indians. Did that have a bad hop? Man. Number two, John Buck to center. Royals, Rockies in Denver. Willie Tavares, we know he has great speed. That's good timing. Run to the wall and then find the ball, kids. Rockies lost to 5-2. Emil Brown. Number one, the Champions Tour Regions Charity Classic first round. Jim Nelford. Things weren't going all that well for him in the first round, but on nine, on the tee shot, uh, he's going to shoot and he's going to score. Nelford is two over. Scott Hoke, your leader.